Hi everybody, this is the animal dude, David Stokes, coming to you with another solo animal encounter. Yeah, everybody say, everybody say good day, friends. Please make two hooks like this. This means friend in sign language. I like to use sign, it tells me if you're paying attention. Everybody say good day, friends. My name is David. Everybody say hi, David. And sometimes they call me Frogman. Make a fist, put it under your chin, push out two fingers. Everybody say frog. Everybody say true frog. True frogs have webbed feet. There are six of those in Wisconsin. Everybody say tree frog. Uh-uh, tree frogs do not have webbed feet. They have sticky toes. Go like this. I did not say stinky toes. Everybody say tree frog. In Wisconsin, there are five kinds of tree frogs. Everybody say toad. Everybody say toads are frogs. So today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite animals, the tree frogs. Now, I was outside uh, just a couple nights ago and I heard this. It was very slow. It was 38 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the sound of the chorus frog, the boreal chorus frog. The next day I went outside, it was 45 degrees and I heard this. The chorus frog responds to temperature. Yeah, and you wonder, oh, what kind of sound does a frog make? Everybody say, it depends on the frog. Yeah, everybody say, you put depends on a frog? <laughs> Forget about that. The chorus frog is one of my favorite, and it looks a lot like this. Everybody say, that's you! Yeah, look at my finger right here. Don't look at my nose. Don't look at that. You see that? Don't look at that. That's a spring peeper. Forget about that. Here is the chorus frog. Now, let's get a little closer. Yeah, here's a chorus frog singing. Yeah, only the boy tree frog sings. And when he sings, he blows up his throat. Everybody say, big chin. <laughs> yeah, only the boy tree frog sings. Who's bigger, the girl or the boy? In the frog world, the girls are bigger. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing thing. Chorus frogs are one of my favorite frogs. Now, I have a recording of the chorus frogs. I want you to hear, and it sounds, when it's really warm, sounds like this. People describe this as taking a really, really old-fashioned comb and running your finger up and down. Try that. You can roll your tongue and try it. The chorus frog is a tree frog, and we're gonna see a tree frog in a few minutes. Yeah, now, before the tree frog was making a noise, I heard this sound. Lick it up, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up. Everybody say, lick it up, ready? Lick it up, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up. Which I recognize is the wood frog. My friend Dan Nedrolo took this picture. You see the brown mask? The brown mask? And here's somebody holding one in his hand. I don't know if you, oh yeah. Everybody say, it's you! Yeah, it is me. There's the wood frog. Wood frogs have a brown mask and they make that great sound, but they're not very big. And they sound like, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up, lick it up. It's a true frog, which means it has webbed feet. And the girl is bigger than the boy. Now, before we see the live frog today, I want you to think about this. There's another frog that's gonna be making noise pretty soon. Everybody say, I hope. Yeah, everybody say, I, and go like this, hope. Yeah, that's the sign for hope. I hope I hear this frog pretty soon. It makes a noise like this. Yeah, it's a snore. Everybody try it. Yeah, it makes a snore. It's called the leopard frog. Leopard frogs, here's a bucket of leopard frogs found in Minnesota. Yeah, somebody's window well had a bucket of, well, they took the bucket and released them near the river. Yeah, the leopard frog has spots on its back. Can anybody see the spots? And it makes a noise like a snore. Listen for that sound. Here's the recording. Listen to this. Yeah, that's a frog. Some people think it sounds like a woodpecker. Everybody make a woodpecker. Yeah, yeah, a woodpecker. But it's actually a leopard frog. So let's meet a frog. I'm gonna take off my hat just in case I can use it. Now, in this jar, this frog might be a little jumpy. This one is a green tree frog. It came from Illinois and I got it in the pet store. Let's see if it wants to come out to visit today. Everybody say, he's tiny. Yeah, everybody say, he's tiny, but he's not a baby. This is not a baby frog. This is an adult frog. Yeah, this is a green tree frog, and I think it's a girl because 
It hasn't made a noise yet. Let's see if it wants to sit on my nose there. Oh yeah, you gotta make sure it doesn't jump. Keep an eye, here we go. <laughs> yeah, everybody say, you can pick your friends. <laughs> Forget about that. This is the green tree frog. It makes a noise that sounds a lot like this. It's the closest thing to a ribbit in the Midwest, but it's a green tree frog. By the way, there is no frog that says ribbit. Everybody say bye-bye tree frog. Now I have another tree frog I want you to meet. Yeah, it's called the golden tree frog. It was from the pet store. It came from, wait a minute, there's crickets in here. Why are there crickets in here? Oh yeah, they eat crickets. And I'm gonna, what does the cricket taste like? <laughs> Everybody say, it depends on the cricket. Yeah, it tastes like a cricket of course, but you know what? They're alive. I'm gonna tell you a true story. Everybody say true. I will not lie to you today. Everybody say true. Frogs have to see their food move. You know what? If my food moves, I don't eat it. Something walks out of your fridge, let it go. Yeah, frogs have to see their food move and they are predators that eat other animals. This is the golden tree frog. Yeah, this frog jumped out right away and I'm not sure if this is a boy or a girl. Can you see it on my sleeve? Everybody say, he's tiny, but he's not a baby. Yeah, can you see it real close there? It's got big, everybody say, frog eyes. Yeah, frogs have periscope eyes. When a frog swallows, the eyes push the food down its throat. Yeah, that one jumped right into the, it jumped right into the camera. So everybody say, thank you. I wanna tell you something though, a friend of mine, did I have that chart? Oh well, yeah. Someday I hope to come to your birthday party or your school or your library. Everybody say, Thank you. You animal, everybody say animal, lovers. I'll see you again soon for another animal encounter. Bye-bye.